Hey there Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of November 12th through the 19th, 2023. Spiritual themes, money messages, challenges, and love. Quick reminder, if you're curious as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up, then of course you're going to be watching your rising sign video after this. And if you want to know the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's playing out throughout the course of the week, check out your moon sign video, because uh, that's how I charge up my cards. So let's get down to business and see what's in store for you. All right, spiritual themes, money, news from your community, messages, challenges, and love. Okay, so looking at your big spiritual theme of the big focus of this week, you've got the Four of Wands reversed. And so this whole week is all about new construction getting underway. The Four of Wands reversed is still a very positive reversed card because it's all about setting the foundations for a new normal, a new life, new comfort, new relationships, new prosperity. And that's exactly what's going on throughout the course of this week. With the Four of Wands reversed, we need to be ready to roll up our sleeves and get down to work, right? Participate in the story, live our lives. But also at the same time, with the Four of Wands reversed, you're going to be noticing a lot of environmental uh, pushes and changes going on around you that you have to take part in. Because again, everything here is setting you up for a great new story, but also at the same time, doing the bricklaying for a much secure, much more comfortable, and much more loving lifestyle. Style. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Hermit reversed. And so with the Hermit card reversed, this is going to be a week where um, somebody is stepping forward uh, from out of the woodwork. This could be a known contact, a known opportunity, um, whether it's somebody you know personally, or maybe this is just something kind of coming out of the shadows and revealing themselves for the first time. But with the Hermit card reversed, they are bringing in some kind of prize, some kind of uh, hookup, some kind of resource for you. With the Hermit card reversed, this is uh, somebody that is going to be an ally of yours for some time. They may be actually moving some big pieces on the chessboard in your favor, or they could be making an adjustment to how things have been carried on in a work, home, or financial situation that really set you up in a good way. With the Hermit Reverse, though, you are going to need to keep in mind that they can't do this all by themselves. And so again, kind of like that Four of Wands reversed, you can't just leave it all up to them, but you are definitely going to want to hear them out. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Seven of Pentacles upright. And so with the Seven of Pentacles upright, there's going to be some good news that unfortunately isn't instant gratification coming through your network this week. The Seven of Pentacles is all about a big win, success, um, something that you really do get to sit down and celebrate and enjoy. 
but the spoils, the rewards, or the payoffs might not be in hand just yet. I sometimes refer to this card as the check is in the mail card. Um, now, this could be news of an approval, a yes answer. This could be news of some kind of breakthrough or, or big win that you're getting through somebody that you're working with, somebody that you know, or somebody close to you, or somebody is providing this for you, right? They're putting this out there so you know what's going on, and it is a win for you. But it may not be something we get to do a whole lot with this week, but soon. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Four of Cups reversed. Let your routine get disrupted when it needs to get disrupted. Okay, the Four of Cups reversed is all about breaking out of a rut, letting go of control issues or anything that you do to keep an idea of control or organization in your life and letting inconvenient blessings do their work because the Four of Cups reverse can sometimes show up where we have positive disruptions, things that are actually shaking up our world for us, doing the good work in a way where it might tick us off, it may irritate us, it may unsettle us. But again, those could just be personal control issues, not liking the idea of losing control. And we need to be okay with allowing things to disrupt a little bit, especially if it's shaking things up for the better. And you may have some blessings in disguise or some positive disruptions show up in many different ways this week. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. And with the Ace of Wands reversed, uh, this week, you may find that um, there's kind of a weird hot and cold kind of energy going on in love and romance. One minute, it may feel like your relationship with your partner or a crush or even somebody new that could be showing up this week is really electric and really scintillating. And then the next, it's kind of dull. With the Ace of Wands reversed, this can sometimes show up where there is not something really grounding the energy that we have in our connection or in our chemistry and to make it last the test of time. If we want to maybe take a, a relationship or a, a potential relationship to the next level, we're going to have to do more than just work with passion. And when it comes to those of you who are coupled or are married, this can sometimes show up where, you know, we need to find a way to start bringing some of our goals and desires and our wants into reality in a practical way and not just wait till we have these spikes of energy to get down to work. Sometimes the Ace of Wands reverse can also indicate um, sort of a, a dullness or a depression kind of coming over a partner or coming over a crush or a spouse. And it may have to do with uh, a lack of real growth or a lack of real change. This could even be something that you're feeling and it's time to, you know, start revving things up in a constructive way. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.